Okay, big hello to everybody. We're going to have another look at the rotary transformer, and here I have a new motor that I've just pulled out of the washing machine. Uh, of course, it was found on the side of the road during throwout day. The old one is down there. I think I may have toasted the um, stator, but uh, we'll have to look into that. It doesn't go so good anymore. So we'll just start afresh for those that want to follow. Uh, Tim over at overunity.com has opened up a thread on it, so uh, let's um, put something in that thread in the way of an actual build. First thing you do is just chop all the wires, not going to need any of them. Um, then we're going to pull this motor apart and unwind all the coils off of the stator. Uh, in this case and most other cases you will find they have these pressed rivet pins instead of bolts which means we have to go down to the workshop and drill them out before we can get this apart of course there is four of them so uh, we'll go ahead do that and then we'll come back to it okay so we've drilled our pins out um, so all they are these steel pins with this here washer on the other end and of course the pin is squashed over so the wash can't come off they're all gone now a good idea before you go any further even before you drill it out is just mark your carrier plates and the stator this thing's wobbly because it's only got three legs the one on one end two on the other that way you can line it all up and um, it goes back together how it came apart uh, so next we'll uh, rip the caps off um, and have a look inside to see what the windings look like. Okay, we've got it apart. Now you will probably find when you pull it apart it's going to have these little lock washer looking things. And um, they go between the bearing carriers and the stator core. You must put these back, it stops the uh, state of moving around or everything moving around once you uh, do the bolts back up so inside two hefty coils it's only a two pole motor um, these motors are really not the best for this design but um, they're cheap or free and that's all we have that's lying around it could be indeed made much more efficient the good thing about this is the wires aren't all stuck together with some sort of a um, two-pack epoxy or varnish so they will come off reasonably easy so we're going to unwind all our windings off of the two stator halves and um, save that wire because we're going to put the bulk of it back on now the one thing I wanted to show you and I mentioned this to Tim I'm not sure if you can see that properly but in no point of time the brush is in contact with only one stator segment. They're always in contact with two and for very, well, maybe not, nearly three. But they're always in contact with two segments. So it means that uh, four of our stator segments are fired up at any one given point in time. So something to keep in mind. Uh, so anyway, we'll go ahead get all this copper wire off here, clean it up as you can see it's extremely dirty and um, we'll give it a good clean down and uh, we might even clean that um, armature up a little bit the other thing to note with these is the uh, way they're wound multiple um, poles at a time the windings are overlapped of course which once again is really not suited to this but it will show the effect that we're after okay so we're going to unwind some copper coils okay so we've got all our copper off uh, just a little hint here these blocks that uh, were in there that you've seen on the video they simply slide in and out so uh, makes it very easy to get the copper off like I said wasn't shellac done and you can see we have bulk of it um, there was actually two coils wound on the motor a primary and a secondary on both so 
so half was on one side, half was on the other, and then um, they started again with the second morning, half on one side, half on the other. So you'll end up with a long length of copper and a shorter length. Uh, the longer length is what we're going to be using. And um, to start with, we'll just wrap one coil on this and put the machine back together and test it. But first we're going to go and have a clean up and uh, keep going on the project. I can't imagine the wife's going to be none too happy about her uh, tablecloth here either. Oh well, all in the name of research. Okay, so we've got all our wire off of our stator and uh, we can clean the stator up. So uh, now it's uh, nice and clean to work with along with the uh, rotor end caps and anything else that we may have to clean. What we're going to do next is clean up the armature and we're going to use fine sandpaper for this probably 600 grit or finer. When we sand it we're going to sand it around the um, armature not up and down it. If we sand it up and down of course we're going to make a nice fine file for our brushes so when you sand it sand around and then um, get a nice small screwdriver and clean all the carbon out from between each segment of your armature because that believe it or not will cause some sort of short between each segment so uh, we'll go ahead and do that as you can see got a nice amount of copper wire from our uh, state of windings. Now the reason we're taking them off and putting them back on is because when they are wound, one coil is wound around this, 50% of the um, amount of turns and then it crosses over to this one, whereas we want to make two individual coils. So there was two sets of windings on there um, all together which will give us the wire for one individual coil and another individual coil. So, what I'll do first, well, just while we're at it, notice with these motors the angle of the brushes quite interesting and may come into play a little later on. But uh, Anyway, I'll get this all uh, spliced together and whacked up on the forearm anyone that wants to uh, build along can um, go through it step by step. Alright, so uh, like I said, I'll get this uploaded, clean up that, and then we'll start to wind our coils. When we go to wind our coils, doesn't matter which direction you wind them on, anti clockwise or clockwise makes no difference. It'll work either way. So uh, until then.